welcome to my Sonic 3D Blast walkthrough. Let's just get it started right away. Start button is the way to go. No other button seems to work for some reason. I don't know. But it does say press start, so, you know, pressing start works for me. <laughs> Flickies are mysterious birds. They live in another dimension and can travel anywhere through large rings. They definitely are mysterious if they can do that. Now I guess you gotta press the A button to cycle through that. Robotnik learns about the Flickies. I will change the Flickies into robots and have them search for the Chaos Emeralds for me. Using the infinite power of the Emeralds, I can conquer the world! Sonic visits Flicky Island to see his friends, but the only thing he finds are robots. Robotnik made my friends like this. I must stop them. Robotnik must be stopped. Sonic starts to defeat the enemies in order to rescue the Flickies who are trapped inside. Go Sonic! You can warp through the big rings with the help of the Flickies. Chase after Robotnik and defeat his plans. Alright, so we start. It's the Green Grove Zone. You got the D-pad for moving. The B button, if you hold it, you can do a spin dash, which is actually the A button on the GameCube controller. B button or A button to jump. B button on the GameCube, A button on the Genesis. C button on the Genesis, same thing as the X button on the GameCube controller. And that's about it for the control. So let's get this game started. Woohoo! And if you stand on these things, it, a little automatic sequence will pop up like this. You can't control Sonic until you uh, pop out from behind those gates there. So uh, it's all like a little automatic thingy thing, yeah. And if you collect 10 of those emblems, you get to uh, continue for the stage. And uh, yeah, when you defeat an enemy, you get one flicky. You need all five flickies to pass through um, those big rings that you've seen in the little title sequence there. So it would be of your best interest to definitely collect all the flickies so you can come so you can go through the game and an, a nice thing that you can do here while uh, uh oops while rolling is to i mean while running is to press the b button to do a roll oh a gold shield now that is a nice shield to have because what you can do is a homing attack Yes, Sonic Advance 3, I mean, Sonic Adventure people, this is where the homing attack originated, watch us. Yeah! <laughs> See, it, it kind of homes in on the enemy like that when you're nearby, so yeah, it would definitely be a good idea to use a gold shield to get as many enemies as possible. And there's a turret, avoid the turret. <laughs> Turrets do not yield any flickies, these enemies do. And there we go, nice homely attack for the win, and then grab the, grab the ring like so. Yeah, and there you go, once you get all five flickies, the ring disappears, and you can warp to the next area. Technically, you're not really warping through the ring, as the, as the uh, title sequence says. Whoa, 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 do not want to go down there, that's the way back. Uh, woo! That, yeah, that thing explodes, that is a mine. Um, so, what you need to do is... Keep your flickies to get through the ring. Wait, what was I saying? I, I completely lost track. Arr, arr. <laughs> I'm, pl I mean, I'm thinking stupidly. <laughs> In fact, stupidly isn't even a word. There's an enemy that I need. And there's another one over here. Uh, a great way to defeat enemies is to do like really low baby jumps like this. Not a real high jump, but a low jump. Because what that does is that it uh, allows you to hit the enemies a lot more easily than if you would, were to try to just plow right into them with a really high jump like that or something. And there's another enemy, and I just got an extra life for getting 100 rings. There's some speed boots over there, but I really don't want them. <laughs> there's another emblem up there. And more rings over here. Where is the other two enemies? I must have taken a path that I wasn't supposed to, or I took the wrong path. Yeah, if I were you, I wouldn't uh, get those ring things. I mean, uh, the shields, if you already have a shield. The gold shield is definitely the best shield in the game. And yeah. Uh, I'll just... Oh, wait, there's one. And I just did the homing attack there again. Where is enemy number four? I mean, number five. I'm just going to drop these off. The less you drop off... Whoops. The less you drop off at the rings... At the... That was stupid. <laughs> the less you drop off at those big rings, the uh, less points you get. But, you know, points really don't matter when you keep getting lives from other things. And that's the end of Act 1. I guess I briefed you pretty well there. Well, I guess you do kind of warp through those rings in some way, as you've seen at the end there. 
well that didn't take too long at all. But as you see, this game is not a regular Sonic game, so which is why it's considered the black sheep of the Genesis Sonic family, because it's, it's marketed as a regular Sonic game, but really it isn't. So people are buying a game, they're expecting something out of it, and they're not getting, getting what they're expecting out of it. So that's why it's uh, an exploration game and not a 2D side-scroller game. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much why people hate the game. Plus, um, the controls are a little bit sloppy. Like, um, because you're running it around the 3D environment, you don't have the um, full control you would normally have, like in Super Mario 64 or something with a control stick. You're stuck using the D-pad, which I guess is fine, because Super Mario RPG had um, such controls as that. Oh, by the way, if, if you touch Tails or Knuckles, if you find them in the stage, you can go to a special zone, but you guys all know how I feel about special zones. I'm not gonna do them. <laughs> I'd rather use a code to get to the final boss, which I'll cover later on. Yes, you, there is a code in this game to skip levels, or level select, I should say. Then again, in old games, what uh, what game in the olden games did not have a code? They usually had those codes for, like, level testing and stuff like that for the, from the game designers. Oh, whoops. You should stand right about here and then jump up at his head. Yeah, that's how you hit those squirmy worm things. Those are actually caterpillars from the original Sonic 1. They have made a, ret a return in here. And I can't hit that thing because, that oh, it's speed boots. That, those do not help in the least. Oops. Oh, yeah. You can also get your flickies knocked off of you. See, they're like a little trail of birds behind you. Well, if they get hit by something, woo, or you get hit, they all go flying in all different directions. Which is a little bit annoying, but it, it's... It's livable, because you know, when you take a hit, or they take a hit, you know it's because of your mistake. <laughs> Whoa! And if they're, if you have a shield, which I just kind of ruined there, um, they're completely protected from everything. So a shield is definitely a great thing to have in this game. Whoa, I low jumped to my own doom that time. I baby hopped to my own doom, I should say. And yes, always carry at least one ring in Sonic games, you know that formula. What's up here? Oh, there's an emblem. And there's another enemy, which should be the sec uh, second to last set. Yep, there's one more set of enemies coming after this, which I'm going to go down here and cover that coming right up now. And I think there's an enemy or two. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, why did I jump at it so early? <laughs> oh, I should get a ring. Oh, okay. Well, I'll get a ring and some shield. A ring and the shield and bouncy. There we go. Oh, and those orange ones that you see that pop up there are really, really hard to catch. Yeah. So when you lose the orange ones, you're going to have a lot of trouble getting them back because of how erratically they move. Again, low jump into the flickies to hit to touch them to get them back, if you can. And looks like this part's coming to an end, so I'll see you guys in the next part. Woo! Where's the next enemy, anyway? And we're back. Let's go find that last flicky, wherever it may be. Uh, did I check over here? I don't remember if I checked over here. I don't think I... Oh, there it is. <laughs> There we go. I kind of high jumped there, but that worked for me. But yeah, that's the end of Act 2. I didn't really need much more time, did I? Um, well, let's see how the boss goes and see if I'll decide to piece this part on the last part. I mean, on the this part, you know, with the, with the Act 1 and Act 2 already in it. And uh, he up here is Eggman, which is actually Robotnik back in these days, and he's going to throw his ball at me like that. It is not hard at all to avoid, but when he comes down to grab it, go and jump at him. Oh, that kind of missed there, but that's okay. And here we go. Oh, I didn't jump high enough. Yeah, you gotta jump high enough to hit him in his pod there. It takes a little bit of practice, but it's okay. And there we go, and there we go, it's much better. I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would after not having played this game for years. <laughs> Honestly. And up, up, see Daisy. Aww. And I'd really like that ball to stop Rhea right about there. That's a much better spot there. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, he's dead already. Wow, that was fast. Okay, so I guess this whole part will be the entire Green Grove part. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, that was somewhat surprisingly fast. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next part then.